Hey everybody, before I get into the tutorial I'm going over today, I wanted to ask what platforms you guys are using for editing. Are you guys using Adobe Premiere Pro? Are you guys using Final Cut? Um, there's a bunch of other ones out there. So let me know in the comment section which one you guys are using. And for the tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how to move a picture or video in Adobe Premiere Pro today. Um, so I'm talking panning, zooming in, zooming out, all that good stuff. It's super easy to do. It just has to do with working with some keyframes. So I'm gonna go over what keyframes are, how to use them, and yeah, it's pretty simple. So let's jump right in. I already have my Adobe Premiere all opened and the media that I'm gonna be working with today imported. If you don't know how to start a new project or how to import media into Adobe Premiere Pro, go ahead and watch my other videos. I have two other quick videos on how to do both of those um, to help you get caught up. I'm gonna show you guys just some really basic keyframes and how that works. So I'm gonna click on this clip then I'm gonna go to Effect Controls. Right now it's on the Source Clip. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna go to Effect Controls, and then it's got, this is the video that's highlighted, and it's got these different options for this video. So let's do Motion. Go underneath Motion, you've got Position, Scale, and these are the two I'm just gonna talk about today. So the way to zoom in or zoom out is you need to turn these on turn them on by just clicking on them and now they're highlighted blue so they're on. The other thing you'll notice is as soon as you turn these on there are these little diamonds and you're only seeing half the diamond right now but these are called keyframes so it just added two keyframes and a keyframe what they are is they basically mark a beginning and an ending point. So let me show you how this works. Okay so I've got my first keyframe that's great. Uh, let's say I want to start with the full screen and I want to move in. So I'm going to move this over. You'll notice these are these are now in sync together as they move. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna mute this for right now. We don't need to hear the music for this part. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and it goes and it does this zoom. Let's say the zoom is too slow. I'm like, yeah, I really want it a little faster. So I'm gonna drag this over. Then I can just click and drag these keyframes. Boop, boop. And now it's gonna go for a much faster zoom. Hit the space bar. And it's zooming in a lot faster. And then at this point, because it's past these keyframes, it's not zooming anymore. It's done zooming. Let's say I wanna zoom for the entire clip. I'm gonna to go to the end of the clip. Another really valuable thing is this zoom in. So this one, you can move it in, and it zooms way, way, way in. And then you can still click this, drag it over, and I'm gonna move it to The other thing you'll notice is whenever you zoom in, it's always centered on wherever your, your space bar is, wherever this blue line is. So I'm zooming in and all of a sudden it centered that, which is really nice. So that's the last frame of that one. Let's say I want these to zoom for the entire clip. I'm gonna just drag these over and done. Now it's one steady, slow zoom Again, I'm going to zoom out because we're so zoomed in right now. Zoom out, drag this to the very beginning, space bar, and it's a slow steady zoom all the way to the end of this clip. The thing you'll notice is since these keyframes got added, this bar is now yellow because something changed to this clip, so it has to be re-rendered before it's going to run as smoothly as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. 
Personally, I've used motion a lot for the first video I'm making, and a lot of that is because I'm starting more with the slideshow than anything. Um, and so it's a really great way to add a lot of movement, motion to your still images. Um, so hopefully you guys found it helpful, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.